We're out here at the steer pasture today. I've got a trailer full of old rusty bent up panels. And the goal today is try to set up some sort of a catch corral so that I can load these guys and get them out of here. That's what's going on today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. Originally, my plan was to build the catch corral down here where it's nice and flat and I've been feeding the steers, but because of all the rain that we've gotten recently, and this is sort of a low point on this property, I'm a little bit worried about um, being able to pull a trailer out of here. I've still been able to drive down here and drop off a bale, and I can get out of here with the truck with no trailer, but I'm just a little bit worried about trying to haul that dead weight up through here. I think it's a little bit too soft and a little bit too slippery to try to do that. So the new plan is to try to build something up here at these gates. We're used to traveling this route. I think this would be a good place to build a catch pen. And then the plan is to be able to open that gate over there and back the trailer in here, thereby always keeping the truck up on the asphalt and then we won't be making ruts and all that sort of thing. So I need a corral that allows me to split them, load half, hold half until I can come back and get them. And I don't really know how exactly I'm gonna do that. So I think the first thing that I'm gonna do is just unload all the panels, kind of take inventory of the different sizes that we've got here and kind of see what the best way is to put all this together. And finally, I've got this 20 footer here on the trailer and I'm pretty sure that I know where I want it to go. So let's set it up first. The end of the trailer is probably gonna be about where this gate is. So I need a sort of small pen you know, right in front of that where I can work them and, and push them up in there. So that's what this 20 footer is. I'm just gonna wait two more seconds. You have to fall. All right, with the 10 footer in place, now we've got a little like five or six gate here. This will be perfect for uh, bringing the steers in that I want to load. And then what I'll end up doing is I'll have to bring another panel as I'm, I'm counting. I don't have quite enough, but I'll get a little panel here that I can just slide to close this off and then, you know, have like a little chain here to wrap it up. With the remaining panels, I basically need to make the biggest square pen that I can back here. And, you know, with the idea being that when they come in here, I'll be able to catch them all in this pen and then sort off the ones I want into this pen. So I've got the flimsy panels here along the fence just because this is a barrier that they're already used to and the panels just sort of add a little bit of visual. But odds are since they haven't ever been over there, if they're gonna break out, they're probably not gonna go that way. They're more likely gonna go back this way to somewhere that they are familiar with. I don't know if I would say I'm happy with this, but it could potentially work so and i can't think of a better way to do this with the panels that i've got so i think i'll go ahead and start attaching all these putting some t-posts in the ground and just trying to you know make this as strong as i can make it Only the finest corrals are held together with twine. Well, the T-posts are in, the twine is tied as tight as I can get it. So let me show you what I got. So this end of the corral is wide open right now, but I've got 
this panel. And this one that will swing. And once I get the steers in this holding area, I can bring these two panels around and tie them to this T-post. Now that I've got them in what I'm calling the holding area, I can get them into the loading corral. And to do that, they're gonna walk through this little six foot gate here. Once they walk through the gate or once I get five or six or however many I'm wanting to get in a load, it's not gonna be this panel, but I'm gonna have another 10 foot panel here that I can just slide and use that to close off this gap. So I think this is gonna work good for sorting because this opening is small enough that I can jump in front of somebody if I need them to stop, but it's big enough where it's kind of inviting and I think they will have no problem going through here. Once we get them in this loading area, the back of the trailer will be about here where this gate is. Usually you guys see me load the trailer in a single file alley. Well, that's just not gonna be possible with this setup. We're gonna have to do a full open gate and a lot of people load that way. I usually don't just because it's always seemed like a little bit harder to do by yourself. But I think these guys are tame enough and I think I might even just go ahead and throw a little bit of hay in the front of the trailer so that once they do jump up in there, they want to stay. And I think once one goes in, they'll pretty well all go in. So it'll take some patience, but I think we can do it. So for now, I think I'm pretty much done here. I can go ahead and open up all these gates and you know, they've been over here in the corner staring at me this whole time. And now when I kind of want them to walk through here to see what they'll do, they're on the other end of the field. So that's all right. Maybe once I see some gates opening up, they'll come over here. think well it's the next day and i think i mentioned that i wanted to wait a few days before i went up there to pick those steers up but today is such a nice day and we've got rain more rain coming and it's already really wet and it's only getting wetter so i feel like today is a good day to go get those boys so that's what we're gonna do As I take on these new things, like new pastures, I go into these things with sort of an idea of how I think it's gonna go. But what ends up happening is along the way, you make adjustments and plans change. And today is a good example of that. When I originally brought the steers out to this pasture, my plan was to keep them there until about November or whenever the grass shut down, and then just bring them all home, feed them hay through the winter at the ranch, and then they would be there ready to go for their harvest dates as they came. But now I've adjusted this plan a little bit and I think the smarter way to do this is to bring half of the guys home to the ranch and leave the other half at the steer pasture for the winter. I arrived at this decision for several reasons but the main one is just for the sake of the steers. The five steers that are gonna stay at the steer pasture are gonna just have a much nicer environment. They'll have more room. And I, I just feel like that's better for them. When I look at them now, they're all clean. They're not in the mud and things are good. So why not take advantage of that if I can? The other reason I guess is a little bit more selfish, but if those guys are up there, if I've only got five on that pasture, I'm not gonna have to feed them nearly as much hay as I would have to feed them if they were home at the ranch and their entire diet consisted of hay. Well, we just pulled in and as you can see, these guys are more or less kind of right where we need them. So the name of the game here is just keeping them calm. I know full well that if they try to jump or push on these panels, they can go right through them, but they don't know that. So we kind of want to try to keep it that way. They're actually all <laughs> in this corral right now. If I can get that big gate and shut it, then I'll have them caught. Go back. There we go. So now I'm going to go grab my little panel out of the trailer so I can block this gate off and kind of hold them in there and at that point I can get the trailer backed in.
it doesn't get much more rinky dink than that but so far it's working so we'll keep on moving forward Got my cheater hay set up here and hopefully we can get five in. Well, that went extremely well. I really couldn't have hoped for it to go any better than that. I mean, I, I just kind of let them do it and they did it. And I think having the hay in there probably helped a lot. But man, once one went in, that was the end of it. Okay, you guys behave yourself a big fear now is just because you know we're breaking up this herd these guys might see the trailer going out and have an idea like they want to jump the fence so i think what i'll do is uh, pull up away from the fence and park and we'll kind of watch them for a little while and just make sure that they're going to stay put Well, as you can see, they're they're standing at the fence crying for their buddies, but they don't seem to be working the fence hard like they want to jump through it. So probably just the the fact that the trailer is here and the steers in the trailer can answer them is probably doing more harm than good. So I think the best thing I can do is just get out of here. Well, we got the feed part of the equation taken care of. They're perfectly happy with this round bale. It's gonna be interesting to see how long it takes them to get through this, but I don't have any water in here at the moment. I used to have a little trough in here, but it sprung a bunch of leaks. So it's back at the shop 
and I'm trying to repair it. But in the meantime, I think I'm going to use this other bathtub that I've got sitting here. It's full of water, so I am I can tell that it holds water, so we're going to use it. My other thought that I had, and it kind of just presented itself to me, but out here where I've got the hot wire for the calves so that they can't get up to the cows, you know, there's there's a nice little strip here that is, is elevated ground, so it's not going to get muddy. And I'm thinking this would actually be a great place to get these steers access to so that they would have a little high spot, where, you know, where they could sleep or do whatever. So I'm kind of thinking what I will do is move the hot wire that way a little bit maybe like halfway across the mound and then I'll have to figure out some way for the steers to access this area but this will give them a lot more room and it'll give them like I said before that elevated ground where they can stay out of the mud and being that it's just hot wire on one side and a terribly junky fence on the other side if the steers happen to break through it and say get in with the calves or get in with the cows it's really not the end of the world. I mean, they're pretty easy to sort back off and it really doesn't hurt anything if they get in with either one of those groups. So I guess it's like anything else. We accomplished a lot today, but there's always more to do. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys, and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch.